Hi, I'm Anita Kozan, and I'm from Minneapolis. I'm Marge Charmley, and I'm from St. Paul. Welcome to Bi Cities, a program by, for, and about the bisexual community and our friends and allies. If you're just tuning in for the first time, Bi Cities is the longest running show in the history of the world on bisexuality, and we're glad you're with us. You can also watch us on the internet if you go to our website at bicities.org and click the link to Blip TV. We're so coming welcome. down the home stretch, Marge, We're in our ninth season. We will have our ninth season. anniversary in September. That is very cool. And very you know cool. what else I learned this week, Anita? What? <laughs> I learned that the Roy Rogers Museum has just closed, and that's not anything about bisexuality, but Bi Cities has now surpassed the number of shows that Roy Rogers and Trigger did together. <laughs> they did 188 shows, and we are surpassing that. Well, I guess if I'm the blonde, I must be yeah, Trigger. Yeah, you're the golden mane <laughs> and the golden voice. So, <laughs> we're called you Trigger from now on. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh gosh, well I'm very proud of this show and I am very interested and proud to have our guest this evening. Why don't you tell us about her? That's a wonderful her. segue, thank you. <laughs> You're Getting welcome. us back on track, you just do it so great, so seamlessly. <laughs> well our guest tonight is a wonderful ally to the gay, lesbian, bi and transgender communities here in the bi cities. Many of you may have seen Mary Harris, the heart and soul singer and entertainer of the bi cities. She is with us tonight. She will be doing a little performing for us, and she'll be talking about her connections to the bi and lesbian and gay and transgender communities and her own work. So, Mary Harris, welcome, welcome. to Bi Cities. Thank you. I am tickled to be here. I'm You're not even going to try glad. to be cool about it. I'm like, <laughs> okay, let's All do right. this. All I just right. want to know, you know, did you guys uh, kind of meet beforehand <laughs> to do this? Uh, we look like we called yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah. You guys this is actually the first time we've officially met, but we obviously are very in tune with the animal prince. Hello. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. yeah. It and just felt right for tonight. And I bet that you loved them before they were cool, which I can say about me. I've always loved them. I always thought they were really neat. So They work. They do. They, they do. So You two divas here. Yeah, what can so I say? I'm, I'm just kind together. of out in the back 40, you know. <laughs> no, baby. You're right here with us. You're I'm right with, with you. Us. All right. Shoot, you should have worn that. You've got an animal print jacket. I do if I would have known that. And it's kind of, yeah, that <laughs> color, too. Oh, that would have been wild. Well, let's stop the show and I'll run <laughs> and get it. Okay, yeah, yeah. No. Really? Never mind that it's raining cats and dogs out there. All right. But Mary Harris, I first met you and first heard you perform at Beyond, which was the program in human sexuality, mm -hmm. sexual health seminar for women who were attracted to buy for both men and women. Mm -hmm. So that's, that was a while ago, probably 10 ago. or 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. And since then, you've performed, at least that I've seen you, mm -hmm on the home basketball court of the Golden oh Gophers, women's team. Go <laughs> Gophers, yes. 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 Do the national yes. anthem, I love that. Yeah, love that. yeah, mm -hmm. and you do it beautifully. Thank you. And then more recently at the Out Front Lobby Day, you know, oh helping support us. So On the steps of the Capitol. Thank very you. exciting, very exciting to be a part of people speaking their minds and making sure that they get taken care of. Like that's what that day was about, and it was amazing to be a part of it. Yeah, you're an ally. How was it that you came to be so supportive of the gay, lesbian, bi, and transgender communities? I mean, it's not everybody can do that, you know? I thought about that, and it's because y'all are human. <laughs> I re really, I love people. We're not sure about Anita. She's got these leopard stripes on. So, I mean, she's an animal <laughs> she's, tonight. Yeah, but yeah, she's yeah, an yeah, animal, yeah. but really it's like people, I learned at a very young age, people are people. And even in high school, I hung out with the popular kids, and I hung out, hung out with the kids that maybe smelled bad and had dirty clothes or whatever. I, I knew at a young age of the people that we all have a right to be respected, and we all have something to offer, and we all can have fun. That's really one of my platforms in life is having fun. Amen, so, sister. Yeah, Amen. yeah. And I, have a, and I have a lot of fun. And, and yeah, I can be cliche. You know, a lot of my friends are gay. A lot of my good friends are gay. Well, a lot of them are very artistic, very... Um, Sensitive, very um, forward-thinking, out to make a difference. Mm -hmm. But it's really the connection is that we're all human, and we're all we all have a, a right 
to be related to with respect. And we all have a right to have some fun. I'm coming back around to that. All right. We all, all have right. a right so, to have some fun, and that's what I'm here for. Wow. <laughs> so was there a first kind of um, access point that you had to, you know, performing in the gay, lesbian, bi, and transgender communities? I want to hear about the rest of your performing, but, you know, what? I don't know. I, I, I've got an actor director, actor director friend named John Townsend. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. And yeah. I worked yeah. with He's John years show. ago. Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, he recommended me when uh, Senator Paul Wellstone mm -hmm. was going to have the Rio Summit. And he wanted to do something. He was going to have a town meeting. And he wanted something different, something exciting. And so they, John and some other folks told him about me. And I got to moderate it, honey. <gasps> I'm, yes, I moderated oh the town gosh. meeting. And I introduced all these speakers. Uh, Terry Gibbs, he talked about global warming and all these folks. It was pretty amazing That's to get to great. do it. And then I did some theater with, with John also. So m m that maybe, but I don't really know because, mm -hmm. because the gay and lesbian people are people. So I don't know when, who, it, who it was I first connected with. Well, where about the, so that was, uh, was that before the Beyond Conference? Yeah, it was a long she time. Lives. I don't remember Rio yeah, something was a I long am. time yeah. ago. Forgetting my, uh, <laughs> My history here. Yeah, it's, I just know it was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to have cue cards pretty soon. <laughs> it's all good. Come on, that's right. Yeah. That's Hollywood. right. That's yeah. right. It happens in Hollywood. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So what an honor, though, to be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah, to be the one and and to bring my joy, because what I bring is joy, and what I am is an experience, and. If I do say if so I do myself. Say, yeah, 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 yeah. I got a CD out. I'm glad it can be captured on CD, but I, I'm an experience. I'm alive. And part of my gift, one of my biggest gifts, is my beingness, if you will. So I can be in, around anybody and be around anything that's going on and connect. I can connect and I can be in a space, any kind of an event, and be okay there. And other people get that they're okay around me. That's what's exciting for me as a performer. People leave my performances generally going, oh, she's wonderful. But they also get how wonderful they are because it's very circular and because I remind them, and I think that's one of the reasons I was born and one of the reasons that I perform, definitely that's one of the, the platforms. Another platform of mine is to make sure that people experience being appreciated and recognized for three things, for who they are, for what they've accomplished, and for their dreams and vision for the future. Anything I do, even whether it's the national anthem or whether I'm singing to some kindergartners, that's where I come from, people being honored. Hmm. That's so, a beautiful So my tagline is, I'm the, one that, I'm the one to call if you want to have your people loved up, honey. Whether well, it's in you government, know, whether it's that wherever it is. Days. Exactly, yeah, whether it's family, yeah. whether it's community, whether it's an uh, organization that wants to honor their volunteers, whoever it is. You want to have your people loved up, you call M-A-R-I. Call Mary Harris. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> How did you find your way into this profession? I mean, you know, you, you sing, you entertain, you act, mm -hmm. moderate political discussions. And I'm a singing auctioneer. A singing? Oh, my gosh. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh, oh, I got to hear about Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I have a friend that uh, she needed to have an auction. She was trying to raise some money, so somebody suggested she have an, a, a, a live auction. And she called me. She said, I want you to be my auctioneer. I said, okay. And I thought about it. And I said, I don't know how to do that. Ah, $50, 50 I don't know how to do that. Yeah. But I can always sing, I hear $50. Can I hear 55 55 55 And if there's twins tickets, uh, take me out to the ball game. So I'm, it's very oh uh, unexpected. Oh, and people, great. people bid because it's so non-threatening. I have people tell me later, I wasn't going to bid nothing. You got all my money. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, so, it's fun, and people get caught up in it, and, and we raise money. Mary, yeah. that is just such a great idea. Yeah. I know. So this so is something I, you do on a regular basis. Oh, no, I do it when I'm called to do it. I mean, oh, I do right. a, a, such a mixture of things. So to, to answer your question, well, I grew up, I think you asked me, how did I get into Yeah, this. yeah, how did you get into I grew into up singing with my brother and sister. They're older than I am. And we sang, the three of us sang a cappella. It wasn't until years ago. About 10 years ago, I realized what an art form it is because it's what we did naturally. And I don't remember any adult working with us. And we had some very intricate harmonies. But so that was it. And I grew up in the Black Baptist Church singing. I think I did my first solo when I was nine, probably did the drummer boy 
rubber pump pump. Mm -hmm. Sit up there, rubber pump pump, and I'm by myself. And I've been singing ever since. So you just kind of uh, learned with your brother and sister. Learned with them, and then sang in the choirs in junior high school, high school, and college. Now, and are you from? Are you from the Twin Cities? I'm not. I'm from the Quad Cities. I'm from Moline, <gasps> Illinois. Are you really <laughs> yeah, from the know? Four oh Cities, gosh. not the oh, Quad, yeah. not the yeah. Bi? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You're two Bi cities. <laughs> James Brown's been here two times. Yeah. So yeah, that's where I'm from. I've been here 32 years. This is, this is home now. There's only one or two other places I can see living. Uh huh. Yeah. Even with the winter, yeah. my voice went, oh, oh sure, <laughs> take back with me in December. But, but I do love it here. I'm home here. Mm -hmm. So you sing and you um, moderate. Mm -hmm. yeah, you don't right. take sides politically. Exactly. I'm a singer-songwriter. Oh, you are? Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. tell us about that. Well, I've got a CD out and it's got 10 original songs on it. And I'm working on my, well, I've got enough for a second and third, actually. But I'm, I'm, uh, thankful that I can take a thought and have it be a song. I'm pretty fortunate that often the lyrics and the music come to me at the same time. That's kind of rare, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't I mean, know. I've heard I just that it's kind of rare. And, yeah. 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 And one year, there's one song I wrote called um, You Should Be Just Who You Are. I wrote the lyrics. I was in the studio with another person, with another singer, Bruce Henry, and I was just jotting some lyrics down. And then I just put them aside it was almost a year to the day the music came to me. So that was, that was interesting. But, some, but my signature song, which is Where I Am Today, it's the name of my CD, the music and lyrics came to me. I just went to the piano and sat down. Can I tell you one other thing about sure. that? Sure. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I was, I, was, uh, I was thinking about money, and I needed some money that day, or so, something about money. And I went to the piano and sat down, and I said, well... I'm just going to play the piano and sing. And the little boy said, turn on the tape recorder, because I keep a tape recorder right there. And um, I had an attitude about it. I ain't turning on the tape recorder. And my guidance was to turn on the tape recorder. And I did. And this song came out called, um, what's it called? It's I Believe in Love? No, Where I Am Today. Actually, I think it was I Believe in Love. But either way, it, it, was, it was I Believe in Love. Because I'm thinking, why would, and when I'm crying about, crying about money or crying, you know, sad about, you know, thinking yeah. about I messed something up. Why would I get a song about love? It was years later, they got very clear that that song was going to make me a lot of money. Isn't that funny? Oh, my wow. gosh. I mean, interesting how spirit works with us, our guidance when we're open. Yes. The creativity. I believe it very much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that was fun. So, yeah, I love to write, and I love to be able to, you know, customize things. I customize programs when companies hire me or whoever hires me. You need a song for your event. Chances are I can write it. That's even more than a chance. It's That's wonderful. Like yeah. <laughs> so do you ever sit down to think, because I've written music, and I, that's been my experience, what you've said, Marge, is that either I write the lyrics or the music first. Usually it's the lyrics first, and then I'll write the music. But once in a while, they'll both come at the same time. But usually yeah. that's, you know, that's it's not kind of the, the exception, the not norm. the rule. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So um, to think about writing a song. Okay, I want to write a song about such and such. Mm -hmm. So you've done that for other people. Mm -hmm. Have you ever done it for yourself? Yeah. But mostly I don't necessarily have a topic. It just comes up. So you write, you write for yourself? No, I just write because it's there. I think most I just write because the theme is there. Mostly, yeah. But it's kind of fun that now I can say that the songs have messages for other people and for me. Uh -huh. Like I wrote a song called Lighten Up, but I wrote it because I had been to a spiritual conference in St. Louis Park, I mean, excuse me, in St. Louis, Missouri. And before we left, the spiritual uh, guy at the time, the, the guy that was speaking that day said, Light, he, that's the last thing he said was, remember, lighten up. And on the way home from St. Louis, I wrote this song. So yeah, it, it comes from everywhere, which that's how, that's, it makes sense because I know that all of life can teach me. Mm -hmm. All of life can support me. All of life can guide me. So that's where the songs, I think the songs ask to be written. And that song, Lighten Up, is something we'll hear at the end of the show. Yeah. So, you know, stay tuned, everybody. We yeah. will be hearing that. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if this is a good time to have you sing a little bit for us. You know, share some of the love. We all need love. It is a good, that's, that's a perfect segue. We love all a good right. segue we around love here, it. right? So, <laughs> all right. right. Well, I, 
Be I said earlier that I really believe that part of my calling is to remind people how very, very wonderful and special they are. And the whole thing, lighten up, ties into that too, because we get so down on ourselves, mm -hmm. and sometimes we judge ourselves. And the name of this song is, I'm just going to sing the chorus of it, it's called, You're the Best You've Ever Been. Okay. Yep. And okay. one of the lines says to let it out and let it in, and by that mean, you got to let out who you are, but you also got to let it in. You have to let in and be remind. You have to remind yourself. Let other people remind you. Listen when people compliment you and acknowledge you. So that's what this is about. And while we uh, let our our sound engineer Paul get things ready for you to sing, mm -hmm. I just want to say that uh, if you're just tuning in to By Cities, yes, we welcome you. And our guest is Mary Harris, who is going to sing an original composition. A little, just a few lines. Yes, yeah, just a few lines. Yep. All right. You're the best you've ever been, and I'm here to tell you so. Yeah, you're the best you've ever been, even though you might not know. Yeah, let it out, let it in. You're the best you've ever been. Oh, yeah, let it out and let it in. Cause you're the best you've ever been. Woo! All right. Woo! Thank you. Bravo. <laughs> Thank you. This is fun. Thank this you. Fun Thank you. Oh, yeah, good. yeah. Good. Feelings mutual. Thank you. Definitely. It's a blessing. <sighs> well, what do you got going for you these days in terms of gigs that you're doing? I heard you do a little singing with Roxy Hall and yes. got something coming up here. Yeah. Yep, I'll be sitting in with Roxy Hall. Uh, tomorrow, and also in August, on August 13th. And I usually do two songs with them. I usually do a song by myself, maybe a slow one, and then the whole band comes back up, and we just rock out on Mustang Sally or whatever, whatever we're doing that mm -hmm. night, Sweet Home Chicago. So it's always fun. Uh, they're such a tight band, and she's so generous with oh, her stage. Yeah, she is. So I love it. And the one really exciting thing is happening. I'm going on tour. I'm going on tour in wow. Florida. Wow, in oh Florida. Oh my God. I'll be singing at six different uh, churches. Most oh of my them in the year, Positive Thought, New Thought churches. That's yeah. great. Yeah, How did this exciting. happen? Well, I went to a positive music conference. Who knew there was such a thing? In January in Florida, Empower Music and Arts is the name of the organization. This is their sixth year that they had it. I'd never heard of it. But I was with my tribe, honey. I was with extraordinary songwriters. I was with off-the-hook musicians and with great vocalists. And I just had such a great time. And I met a lot of people. Uh -huh. And I actually met a gentleman. He's not a booking agent. He's a change agent. And he started a company. And he books, uh, book Bates Reads, he books people that do positive music, positive music artists. Uh -huh. So I set up some of the things myself, but also his organization has been sending my, my name out to all kind of places, all kind of churches. And Florida has the largest population of unity churches in the country. So, and somebody said, why are you going down there now when it's hot? It's like, number one, I'm hot and they want me now. And we said, enough for now. Yeah. And I'm setting myself up to go hot. back for round two in December and January and February. <laughs> so it's real, that's seriously what I'm doing is setting really? myself up to be able to tour around, the, really around the world. There's unity churches everywhere. So that's, that's, the, that's the newest thing for me. And I'll also be doing workshops while I'm there. Oh my God! I've got a workshop called Express Yourself. <laughs> which uh, empowers you, has you look at uh, how music impacts you and how it empowers you in whatever, whether it's your leadership, your spirituality, your love life, whatever. Because oftentimes people like music, and maybe don't even know why or don't really know what the lyrics say. The other day I was listening to a song that I love it. I'm always thumping and dancing to it. And I heard the lyrics that went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, it wasn't the best message. Yeah. But unless you stop and look, you don't really know. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things we do in the workshop. So I'm excited about that. So wow. do you, will you do the workshop with the congregation? You know, with whoever shows up, honey. Okay. <laughs> so I mean, I'll, I'll sing that morning. Uh huh. And then that afternoon, I'll do a workshop. Either that afternoon or during the week, because I'm there. I'm I'm there. I'm leaving June 21st, and I'll be gone till August. Oh my gosh! Wow. Yeah, so this August is quite months. a tour, yeah. then. Yeah, six different churches. So. Wow! And then, and then start kicking it off with a retreat that Bates is doing for his the roster, the artists on his roster, and then we're doing two or three concerts that weekend. He's doing a fundraiser, so I get to do my singing auctioneer bit. Oh! Oh my gosh! In Orlando, oh, you're gonna have Florida. so much. 
fun. <laughs> you are just oh. multifarious, a one-stop shop I, here I for you. What do you need? Mary's got it. Being, I got it. You, you're on your way to being launched. I mean, yeah, this is yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah. The, the singing auctioneer thing, I just think that is you got to do that on YouTube. unique skill. That's an idea. Yeah, do the like, singing auctioneer on YouTube. Great idea. It, it really is fun. And if people stop bidding, uh -huh. my roommate noticed he was there, and he noticed, you know, when you stop singing, people stop bidding. So sing something. But if people stop bidding and stop b interacting, I say, y'all want me to beg? Y'all want me to beg? Then I sing, ain't too proud to beg. Again, I'm in the moment. I'm, I'm in the moment. That's one thing that works about me. Oh, spontaneous. that is wonderful. Being in the space. Now, you talked about doing inspirational speaking as well. Can you talk a little bit about some of those inspiring words that you share with people and the messages <laughs> that you? Mm -hmm. Mainly, it's a, it, it, a lot of it builds off my song. Cause, and if you hire me to sing, I'm going to talk a little bit. If you hire me to talk, I'm going to sing. So, <laughs> so that, that's how I, how I put the two together. But ma yeah, mainly, I can, I can speak about whatever the organization is related to. Or I can, or else I'll build off of one of my songs pretty much. So I, I, I speak and sing about the great stuff and the lousy stuff that happens every day. And the fact that whatever happens, you can keep on going and still have power. That's probably one of my main messages that you can still have power, yeah. no matter what happens. My parents died when I was young. They didn't mm -hmm. seem young at the time. I was 17 when my mom died, then my dad, dad died five years later. And I think that's actually part of what has me be as optimistic as I am, because I know life goes on. Life just keeps on life, and that's what I say. Mm -hmm. you know, I just keep, you know, stuff is going to happen. But what you going to do? What you, what you going to do about it? Well, you, you know, cry for a while, and then, you know, Yeah, on. those things happen, yeah. and we find something in ourselves we didn't know we had. You yeah. know, resilience, hope. Yes. And, and so when you talk about that, it comes from deep inside. It's not just lip service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it does. It does, and that somebody called me a motivational speaker. I don't necessarily know what motivates people, but I believe that what inspires people is something that's real. It, and, and I know we all have different realities, but if you can relate to something that's real, you can find something in there, whether it's art, whether it is a, a song, whether it's something in nature, whether it's somebody being real. And I think I do a lot with young people, and I think it's because I'm real with them. And they get, young people really know if you're trying to, trying to con them, trying to mm -hmm. be something, you know. And I was coming real. And I, and I actually, can I tell you how I really got access to that? Yeah. I was I hired to sing at an event years ago. I had a really bad day. It was like messed up. It was actually, something had happened, and then I so what you did with it. Yeah, you know. And I thought about it, and I said, but I, I got, I'm hired to sing. I'm going to go sing. And it was a Christmas party. It was a holiday party, you know. But what I did was I just really incorporated that. And actually, when I got up to sing, one of the first things I said is, did anybody have a bad day? And just, like, addressed it. It was in uh -huh. the space for me, and I wasn't the only one. Holidays, holidays are rough on people mm -hmm. sometimes. Yeah. And getting to an event is, can be rough. And getting to an event and trying to be dressed up if you don't really feel like being dressed up, you know, all of that, and interacting with people and all that. So I just said, is it, you know, and I acknowledged it, you know, some things that happened that day that bugged me. But you know what? I'm here to be with y'all. I'm here to have a good time. Let's do this. Wonderful. And that's what I really got, that that's important to just be able to, be able to incorporate what's there. Not, not try to gloss over it, not try to act like it's not there, but, you know, in speaking it, then you can let go of it. Yeah, exactly. And to be a model of, we yeah. can choose. Yeah, exactly. yeah. We can exactly. choose how we're going to react to situations that are out of our control. Yeah. It's what can we have control of. And it yeah. makes you more real and more touchable. Yeah. yeah. Vulnerable, you know? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, I saw Tom give us the, the sign that we've, Got about two minutes two left minutes now, left. so I think we want to give Mary the stage to speak to the audience here. I'm going to reiterate what I said earlier. We, you really are the best you've ever been. We are the best we've ever been. We might have had more money one time. We might have had, I had a smaller body at one time. Whatever. Right now, in this moment, we're blessed. And I think it makes sense to be good to yourself. Be gentle with yourself and just remember that mirror here said I was the best I've ever been. So if you have to hear my voice in your head, that's fine. It maybe won't be that high or maybe it's even low. You're the best you've ever been. But however it comes to you, remember, you're the best you've ever been. 
Amen. Ooh. You, have, you just got lighten up, right? Well, there you go. Yeah, lighten there you up. go. So uh, lighten up. We're going to be hearing that as the uh, credits roll out. You know, what inspired that for you? That man saying light, lighten, lighten up. up. He All said right. that, and I seriously got in the car and wrote the song on the way home from St. Louis. Wow. And I've had people tell me, Mary, when I have your CD playing in, in a traffic jam, I can't be upset if I put that song on. You know, oh, you could sell that for road rage. You, you know, there, there's another angle on Come it. On, baby. Yeah, Come yeah, on. yeah. Let's, Always let's an angle. get your agent there. Life is our partner. <laughs> well, well. If we do we go to maryharris.com? Yes. M A R I. Yes, thank you. H A R R I S. Yes, dot, dot com. Dot com. com. Mm -hmm. This woman, this is not the last you've heard of her. <laughs> believe you me. Follow this woman and see what she does next. But for us, we're pretty darn lucky, Marge. Yeah. And as is our audience. Mm -hmm. Yes. You were all here with us, and so we'd like you to join us in looking at camera two, mm -hmm. and we will give our famous goodbye. Signature. Let the light in oh. you come shining <laughs> through. Right.